Hi everybody. Um, I had someone ask to uh, see my working tray a little uh, closer up as I've mentioned it quite a lot in my Stitch With Me videos. So um, I have another video I did about my uh, floss organization system and I will uh, put a link to that. But basically I keep my stuff in envelopes, all the colors, pulled in a tub out of my master set in number order like that. And then when I get to a color that I'm going to be using a lot in the section that I'm working in, it goes in the working trace. So each of my colors will have the threads inside and then a little thread card I made. This is just a piece of cardboard that I got from a cereal box. I just cut it up into, you know, about one inch by one inch squares and then put a slit in it to hold um, spare little pieces like that. So when I decide to pull a color and use it in my working tray, I take out the little thread card and the thread that I'm gonna need and I put it into one of these slots. And then that way, you know, I know what color is in which slot, obviously. Um, I don't always put them in number order because sometimes the colors are very close together. So this is 827 here and this is 828. Obviously nothing's going to go between that. But because you can see that these two colors are extremely similar in shade, it would be easy to mix them up. So I like to split them apart a bit on the tray so that I don't accidentally put the piece back into the wrong place. Use it incorrectly. So. Any pieces that are full pieces are not hooked onto the card. They're just kept separate like this. And then I can pull out a new piece of thread when I need it. Any pieces that are shorter than the full length get threaded onto the card. I just stick it in the slot there. And then that way I can see all the different lengths and decide exactly what I need and just pull one out and use it then. So I just like to put my thumb on the top of the, the all the threads here and say I wanted one of the shortest ones. I would just go like this, grab it, Pull it out the rest of the threads all stay on the card and uh, yeah it helps keep me from having to sort through tons of little threads because before i use this i would just stick it back in there and then sometimes you'd be end up with like half a dozen different lengths and you'd have to pull them all out and compare them so i find this just keeps it a little neater makes it a little easier to see exactly what length the thread is so if you only need for say two stitches or if you need one for say eight stitches you'll need a piece that's slightly longer that kind of thing so it's just like that, very simple, but uh, I find that it helps keep me nice and organized. And uh, that way I'm not wasting any little leftover pieces. They also stay sort of nicely, you know, organized that way and they're easy to pull exactly what I need when I need it. And then of course, once I move to a new section, if a color is no longer going to be used a lot in that section, then I just pick all of this up, put it back in the envelope, put it back in my tub and replace it with a new color that I'm going to be using a lot in that area. So I hope that that helps make it clear. Um, if not, please uh, ask any questions you have in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, thanks for watching everyone.